free agency promo put some new sets into the game when there's new sets people do dumb things they buy cards for way too expensive so we're gonna exploit that and uh we're gonna make some coins off of it let's do it so the first thing you guys are going to want to do when you log in is go check the price of 85 overalls just sort by quality 84 to 85 scroll down until you see some 85s on the block which is exactly what we're gonna do here and we'll see that the cheapest 85 is going for like 12 to 50 you got other 85s going for like 12 5 so we'll say 12 350 is the price of an 85 overall at this time the first thing you want to do because you want to understand what your break even is going to be so we're going to end up pulling 10 of these packs from the training that we buy so at about 12,000 per we would make back 120,000 coins so the cheapest 95 that you could buy on the block right now is about 150k so if this is the worst case scenario we pull all 85s out of this we're only going to lose 30,000 coins which to me is very much worth the risk because you can also get very lucky like I did here and pull a 95 i think out of every two rotations through this out of every 20 packs you're pretty much guaranteed based on the odds a 95 overall so with that luck with that chance with that ratio or those odds you have a very good probability of making very good coins here which is what i did i did this one time i pulled a 95 i've done this before in the past when this was working then as well i pulled 95s it worked really well for me just know that there is a little bit of risk involved you can lose but if you repeat throughout time this should end up working out for you as long as the 85s are priced like this the 85s go back down to like seven thousand per i think you're just risking too much so that's why the first thing you do is check the price of 85s when you log on to understand what your break even is to know that you can make back most of your coins if you get the worst case scenario and only pull 85s next thing you want to do is buy your training so what i did for this and i didn't do it the most cost effective way i just started by 95s because they give you 25,000 training which is the equivalent of 10 packs easy to keep track in my head i just think it's really simplified that way if you want to find cheaper training you can always go on mutt head and find it there but just go on to here search by 95 mutt heroes and buy the cheapest one try for like 140k 145k they'll get posted every now and then for like 130k but totally up to you however cheap you want to buy it so you can do 140,000 here as you see the Trey Waynes that's a pretty good price I'd be comfortable buying these for 140,000 coins now the next thing you guys want to do is head to the store and you're going to buy 10 of the 85 plus campus heroes exchanges the reason why is because we know the price of 85s is jacked up right now because it's going into a set it's going into this 87 to 89 overall free agency player set and it's also going into the 92 to 94 overall free agency set so these guys are buying 85s it's jacking up the price of those 85 overall cards and so that's why pulling this pack is a great hedge we'll be able to pull 85s at the lowest knowing that we can get more coins per training value on those 85s we also have the chance to pull 92s i believe and we do have the chance to pull 95s out of the campus heroes which is obviously a big w so go to the store buy 10 of these packs with the 25,500 training that you got from your 95 overall that you purchased and hopefully you're able to pull a 95 if you're not able to pull a 95, that's okay. I'd recommend you just try again. That's what I did. I was lucky enough to get a 95 in my first try through. I've done this in the past, like I said, and I had luck there as well. So there are good chances that you pull a 95 if you go through this cycle twice. I think you have good chances of pulling it the first time as well, because it's pretty much like a 50-50 chance you pull it in your first time. But it's almost guaranteed that you pull it within your first two times around, just based on the odds of what the actual probability is of you pulling a 95. Once you do that, as you can see, I pulled a Quentin Jammer. I went and checked Quentin jammers price is a 95 he was like over 215,000 coins which is awesome i'm just going to sell him straight up and i'm going to go to all the other 85s that i pulled and i'm just going to sell those cards for their market rate that we checked in the beginning of the video which was like 12 between 12,000 and 12,500 i'll sell all of those cards and then i can go back to the store and do it again i pulled 985s i'm selling those currently for about 12,000 12,500 coins plus the 200k that i'm going to make from quentin jammer brings me to over 300,000 coins made if you subtract off my initial investment of about 140 45,000 coins. We're making over 150,000 coins. And I did this in like 10 minutes. It was super fast. It was super easy. And I made over 150,000 coins. You can hit so big on this. All you need is that one or two 95 overalls. And seriously, you will make a ton of coins, but that's it for the coin making method guys. Short, simple, sweet to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful. If you did drop a like on the video, subscribe for more Madden 21 content. Alan Robinson Bears team team episode coming soon. I promise you that it is coming shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always thanks for stopping by